first time that I consciously met Garrett and Rudy, and also Heine at that time from TTM. We all got into the same carriage on the same train going from Dublin to Kilkenny in 1991. And that's the first time we really spoke to each other. And I had no idea 24 years ago that Gert and Rudy were going to become such significant people in my life. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. I will always have an abiding memory of our dear friend Panshu and our dear departed friend Professor Sharma going from conference to conference with a briefcase full of pickles in case, in case the food is not spicy enough. <laughs> I bet he's got it here as well. No. <laughs> it happens. How amazing. I have an abiding memory of nearly losing my board when I was director. Fred was driving us in a big Land Rover from Nairobi to Arusha to check out whether we could hold a conference there, which we did, of course. And we got onto the dirt road and there suddenly was a giraffe in the middle of the road. And Fred had to stop to let the giraffe and his family pass. And what happened? The doors of the Land Rover opened, and my entire board, which I felt responsible for, disappeared into the bush. And I thought, there could be a lion behind the door. Somebody's going to get eaten. What do I do? Happily, Nothing happened, they did come back, and we carried on our journey. But then the most magical thing happened, which showed us the real, true, warm heart of Africa. We were proceeding down the road, and towards us bounced a group of newly, or they assumed, newly initiated Maasai warriors. They, they were jumping up and down on the road in their wonderful red robes and with their, their spears. And we slowed down and moved very, very slowly between their smiling ranks. Do you remember that? And what a wonderful, wonderful welcome that was to that amazing conference of Africa. Of course, we got to our first hotel in Arusha, where it was 66 or 77, which one has a number on it. Anyway, we all got locked in our rooms and found ourselves having to climb out of the windows. So we decided that we couldn't use that one for that conference. And um, so we moved to one called the Impala. Many of you will have been there. And I just had some suspicions about the Impala, so I arrived with my little team a couple of days early, and then Rudy arrived, and he said to me, what have you got here so early? And then he said, and where's the lift? And I said, well, if you look in the garden, there's <laughs> No, it was uh, lots of wonderful, wonderful um, memories of uh, WFTO.